Hello, everybody. Welcome to In Case You Missed Psychology 2 for Tuesday, April 6th. If you're watching this, that means you couldn't make it to class today for some reason. Maybe your internet was down. Maybe you were abducted by aliens. Maybe Subway had buy one, get one freeze. I don't know. But whatever it is, you're here, you're watching this, and that's what's important. I hope you're well. I hope those around you are well. I hope you had an excellent spring break. I hope you did something relaxing that you enjoyed, okay? So here's the deal with these videos. I'm going to shoot one of these every day, um, and if for some reason you're not able to make it to class, um, you can watch this to get the main gist of what we did. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the same as being here live with people or if you're at home listening to the people in the room interact and things like that. But um, this is a good way to get caught up on the basic info on things that we did. Um, if you're watching this and you made it to class today, stop. You don't have to watch it. Um, it's going to be things you already heard. Okay. So um, first, welcome back. Um, you know, obviously at, at some point, most, if not all of you guys have already had psychology one. If you're one of those people who is taking psychology two and hasn't taken psychology one yet, that's okay. You can be successful. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Um, I have people do it every year and, um, they, it all winds up okay. All right. Um, now, Psychology 2 is obviously going to be a continuation or a build on Psychology 1, um, with the goal being that we are going to give you a nice foundation that would basically get you through any intro to psychology class that you might take in a college setting. Okay. Now, one big difference about this class versus Psychology 1, um, this is what is called a Loud A course, which means it's an honors level course. Um, for taking this, you get Loud A points, which can lead to graduation honors and things like that like that. Um, obviously, the higher a grade you get in a Laude class, the better that looks for you on the, the old uh, graduation part of things. Um, now, because of that, things are a little bit more challenging. We do move a little bit faster, and I am a little less likely to accept late work. Um, so, please do understand that the policies I'm going to show you guys are things that I do strictly follow, and that, um, for instance, with it being a lot of class, I don't let you do test retakes or anything like that, okay? So, um, if you have any questions about what that means, if that's intimidating to you, it shouldn't be. Um, actually, I don't think there's anything in here that's as hard as the unit that we did on the brain in Psychology 1, okay? Now, how is this going to work? All right, so... Obviously, for the next two weeks, we still have cohort one, cohort two, cohort three, um, two days a week, two days a week, or at home all the time. Um, the way that things are going to work starting April 20th is if you're in person, you're going to be allowed to be here four days, Tuesday through Friday, but Mondays are going to stay virtual. Okay. Now this class is rather big. I think we have 28 people total. I think at the current moment that I looked, I think there's 21 or 22 people coming back. So we're going to have to take advantage of every little bit of space to keep you guys distanced at the three feet now that the Center for Disease Control is um, recommending. Okay. But from a logistical standpoint, Mondays are going to kind of be important days in here. Now I am not going to the lecture and record that. I'm not going to require you to log into a meet on none of those things. But on Mondays, usually that's when our work is going to be due is Monday by midnight. Now, you guys will notice I assigned something yesterday. I'll show you that in a minute. All right. But I assigned something yesterday. Um, usually I don't assign things on Monday. I assign them on Tuesdays and let you work on them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then they're due Monday at midnight. So anything that you don't have wrapped up, you can hand in or you can work on Monday throughout the day. Um, Monday can also be a day that you get caught up if there are things that you maybe are a little bit behind in that, that are okay. Um, the other thing is occasionally I will give you tests on Mondays, okay? Um, I think that's really one of the better ways that I've done things is, okay, you're, you know, on Friday, I'll say, here's my expectations for you on Monday. Make sure you log in, check X, Y, Z. Sometimes I do record a little video on Monday, you know, just explaining what it is that you need to do, okay? So, for instance, yesterday, obviously, I posted the Psych 2 rules. Nothing real fancy. We'll go through a few of those in a few minutes. Um, but I, but I posted those and then I also posted the five foolproof ways to stay motivated, which on your end looks like this. Okay. And that's to April 12th, which is next Monday. Now, um, 
the other days, the Tuesday through Thursday days, um, you'll come in, we'll do attendance. That that un unfortunately is the most annoying part of the day because since some of you are here and some of you are here and not everybody logs in on time, um, I have to find things. So taking attendance takes a little bit. So um, we do a little bit of socializing and things like that while that's going on. I say your name a million times trying to figure out where you are on the screen. Um, it would help if you guys turn on your cameras, but you know, hey, I can't, I can't demand anything. So there you go. Um, once I get done taking attendance, we'll do trivia. We do uh, five trivia questions every day. Sometimes there's themes, sometimes there's not. Um, for instance, today's theme was Harry Potter. Okay, and just you know, I, I took some suggestions from people last quarter. Um, then we're going to do some kind of mini lesson usually. The mini lesson might take 20 minutes. It might take a half an hour. Some days it might take 40, 45 minutes. I, I don't know. I'm not going to guarantee anything because I want to make sure that we get through the things we need to get through. And realistically, we have nine weeks, four days in person. I don't think we have school after. I think we have 35 days together. It's not very much. And I have a lot to cover. Okay, so um some days we may talk a little bit longer than others some days we might have a 15 minute mini lesson and then i go okay and get to work on the assignment for the week okay um once we're done with the mini lesson the rest of the class will be work time uh people that are here obviously are going to work and, and talk as we go people who are home you are more than welcome to work and talk with us I, I turn the volume up on my computer and turn it towards the room so that you can hear and see what's going on um, but I do turn on Go Guardians. So if you're one of those people who is just going to uh, fart around the whole time, uh, I don't care if you're at home on your couch, I'll, I'll still shut down windows, okay? Uh, the last thing is, and obviously you're watching this, so you understand this, every day I'm going to try, it's a little harder this semester or quarter, I have three different things. I'm gonna try to shoot one of these in case you missed it videos to go through the major things that we talked about in class that day. Obviously, you're not gonna get all the interaction. I'm not recording class live or anything like that. So if you um, if you missed a day, doctor's appointment, uh, overslept, whatever, um, you can always come here at the end of the school day to catch the important parts of things, okay? Um, now. The next thing I want to go through is I got to talk really quick about the classroom rules and grading policy. So I'm going to temporarily move myself here so that I can get back to those things. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Um, all right. So the rules for this class are not that different than the rules for the last class, but I wanted to highlight a couple of things that are kind of important. I'll slide myself back up top here. All right. So um, obviously the goals, we're, we're going to continue on with what we were talking about. Um, we are going to talk first about motivation and emotion. Uh, we're going to talk about learning and how people learn. I froze up there. I glitched. Um, we're going to talk about mental disorders or irregular behavior. We're going to talk about stress, social psychology. The one big difference between what we're going to do this year and what we have done in past years is once we hit a certain spot in the class, I let the class decide what chapters we did next. I I'm picking them this time. Sorry, I got to get through things. And so I, I usually have a lot more time and I don't have that time. And so I want to make sure and emphasize the, the big points. OK, um, the way that we're going to get things done is we're going to do um, some different things. We may do a mini project uh, toward the end. There are going to be tests. Yes, the tests will probably be open resource. There's no way I can stop you. If you're at school, yeah, yours will be open resource because the people at home, I can't stop them from using their phone to look at their notes or look things up. So. Yeah, the tests end up a little bit more challenging because of being able to use your resources, but I'm also rewarding you for taking good notes and being involved, okay? Um, there will be weekly homework assignments, weekly reading type assignments where I give you like a short article or a short something to read, and you're gonna have to answer three to seven, eight, nine questions about it. And then there'll be smart, small and large group activities. And just a reminder, it is allowed a course. It's not, it'll be fine, okay? All right, some quick reminders on expectations. Um, the, the first two are common sense. You guys are in high school, take good care of each other and we'll be just fine. There you go. Um, the proper classroom behavior, uh, you guys who are at home, it, make sure your score is not a distraction. I would love it if your camera was on, okay? I would love it if you were involved and you unmuted and things. Don't hit that hand raise button. Just unmute and ask the question if you have a question. It, it makes my life a lot easier. I, every time someone bloops, I, I call it blooping when you hit that button. Every time someone bloops, I, I'm like, what is that? What happened? You know, I'm just not used to it yet. Um, 
no food in the classrooms. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know that sucks, but it is what it is. You can have water. So you can, you know, bring a water bottle, peel your mask to the side, take a drink quick and, and then get your mask back on. And yes, I'm going to put mine on quickly. Masks do need to cover your nose. I'm not dealing with the, with this. I'm not dealing with the chin diaper. All right. If you're, if you're getting a drink of water, you can really quick peel her off, get a drink and get the mask back on. Now you guys wear glasses like I do when I'm doing these recordings and staring at my computer. Yeah, I know it sucks. I'm sorry. Get a really good fitting mask and you won't have a problem. Okay. Um, do your best to stay distance when you're in the classroom. Right now, that means three feet. That means we're not going to crowd at the door at the end of class. That means that we're going to respect where I put the chairs. And this class is going to get a little bit more difficult on April 20th. We'll have to discuss what that's going to look like when we get to that point. And otherwise, abide by all other rules stated in the handbook. Be smart. Don't be dumb. If you've got to go to the bathroom, just ask. If you got to go around to fill your water bottle, remember it is all one way. Okay. Um, the responsible part of things, um, it, again, it is a lot of class. Sorry, I know it's like the fourth time I've said that. And so I expect work done on time. Um, I'm not taking things two weeks late. Uh, I'm not going to do it. It's a lot of class. It's seven days. That's what you get. Okay. So you can hand in last week's assignment this week, but, but that's going to be as far as it will go. Um, again, things that you need for this class, you, you're going to need your Chromebook and your charger. That That's primary number one, you know, whatever. Um, if for some reason you're in school and you don't have a charger, I have two over on my, my camp couch that you can borrow from me for this hour only. I'm, I've been told not to let them leave the room. Um, it might not be a bad idea to have a notebook and a folder. Uh, you're not really, actually, you don't need a folder. You're not going to get any paper. Um, but you might want to have a notebook, uh, to take some notes in. If you're going to just do screenshots or do them on your computer, that's fine. But you're going to want to have something. Otherwise you're, you're really kind of taking your tasks going solo. Um, make sure you're on time. Okay. Uh, whether it be coming to class every day at one o'clock, uh, for, you know, the, the physical meeting, try and get here on time. If you're if you're logging in from home, make sure you're logged into the meet by one o'clock. Uh, I hate it when people are late, number one. Number two, taking attendance like this is an absolute pain in the butt. And if you are not on time, I have to go back and chase around. And if it takes more than 10 minutes for you to get in class, I have to email Lee and there's a whole pain in the butt thing about it. So please make sure and be on time. Okay, the rubrics are the same from last semester. Um, you've got, you know, psychological content, all right? You've got uh, psychological communication and you have analysis, an, analyzing psychological research, okay, are, are your standards. Um, obviously, down here in the information, I put down that I, I, I will post something in classroom every day about for if you're unable to attend and that if you need help, you know, reach out via email chat or video chat, okay. Um, contact info is right there. That's my cell phone number. Use it if you need to. Um, yeah, there you go. All right. So, um, the other thing I did post in classroom the other day, just to be on the safe side is I did give you the schedule. Hopefully by now, you know what lunch you had and all those things. But if you're at home today and you have no clue, it's right there. Okay. All right. Now going back to this, um, our first unit is going to be on motivation and emotion. It's actually symbolism, motivation and emotion, um, which we're actually going to get started on tomorrow. But we are going to do the title slide and look at the objectives today. So um, buckle up for that. Then there's going to be some work time. And if you're at home, use whatever time you see fit. And your first assignment is called Five Foolproof Ways to Stay Motivated, which I know can be really hard in pandemic times. And then you're going to have work time. And my expectations of that work time are that you get something done. I mean, the whole assignment is not until Monday. And so if you don't always get something done, that's understandable. Um, but, but try to use the time well. And if you're done, if your assignment's done and it's handed in, I will not question watching Netflix or, um, you know, playing the snake game or whatever. Okay. All right. So a couple quick slides. Um, like I said, we're going to start off with motivation and emotion. This is the first unit in psychology too. There is going to be a test on this one. Um, so you are going to want to make sure you get some basic ideas down here. Um, the objectives you don't necessarily need to write down. It might not be a bad idea if you're home right now, obviously, to take just a little screenshot of this slide. So the objectives for this chapter, the things that I want you to be able to do by the end. 
are um, discuss the role that symbolism plays in motivation and emotion. Now, you've talked about symbolism probably in English classes before. Um, we're going to talk about how that applies to psychology and to life in general. Um, symbolism plays a big role in how we see the world and how we assign value to people and objects and things that we want or dreams because we assign meaning to everything. Okay, we, you have decided whether this mask is a valuable tool to help keep you safe or whether it's a hindrance of your freedom as an American. Okay, I haven't even had like a sniffle since it started. So I'm a, I'm a, I may keep wearing the dang things once it's over. Okay, um, what we're, the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to define and identify the major components of motivation. So we're going to talk about like, um, what are the primary motivations of human beings? How do they rank? Okay, what, what are major motivations of kids versus major motiv motivations of adolescents and adults and senior citizens? Um, how does motivation change over time? Um, why are some people more motivated by what are, what's called intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation? Okay, um, we're going to talk about hunger and thirst, survival motivations. Um, what, what really causes hunger other than I haven't eaten in three hours and I'm so starved? And we're going to talk about what really motivates thirst and, and how your body knows. Um, we're then going to examine the importance of non-survival motivations, things that you that motivate you that you don't need to survive, things like uh, need for affiliation, need for approval, need for achievement, contact comfort, uh, manipulation motive, curiosity motive, all some of the things that we're going to talk about. Okay. Um, then we are going to talk about something that maybe you have encountered someplace else in your academic journey, uh, if you're taking a leadership maybe. And that's we're going to we're going to talk about something called Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We're going to critique it, talk about how it impacts life today, whether or not you think it's a valid theory or not, how it might apply to life in 2021 America or Marshall. OK, last but not least, we're going to appraise and defend the different theories on how emotion is formed. We're going to talk about what emotion is, but we're going to also talk about how it's formed and what goes on there. OK. All right. And that's really it for today. Um, what we're going to do the rest of the way, if you have more time to dedicate to psychology to today, please make sure and get going on the assignment. Five foolproof ways to stay motivated. That's in Google Classroom. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out via chat, via email, via video chat. You could text me as well if you need to. Remember, I do sleep. So if you send me a message at two o'clock in the morning, don't expect to reply back until the ungodly hour of like four thirty, five o'clock in the morning. I will see you soon. Be well.